Hey everyone, welcome back to my Procreate for Beginners series. In today's video, we're going to dive into creating and manipulating basic shapes using the selection and transform tools and exploring blending modes and layers to add depth and effects. These are fundamental skills that will help you build confidence and create more detailed and dynamic pieces, even if you're just starting out. To begin, let's create some basic shapes. Select the brush tool, use a monoline or technical pen for a crisp edge. Draw a circle or a rectangle and hold your pencil down to let Procreate snap the lines into a clean shape. If you want the shape to be perfectly symmetrical, like a circle or a square, keep your pencil down and touch the screen with your other finger. Procreate's quick shape feature will lock the shape into a perfect form. It's a good idea to create each new shape on a separate layer. This way you can edit and move elements individually without affecting the rest of your drawing. Next, let's draw a rectangle. Once again, loosely sketch the shape of your rectangle. Hold your pencil down and then tap the screen with your other finger. And there we have it, a perfect rectangle. Lastly, let's try out a triangle. There's our loose triangle. Tap the screen and we have a symmetrical triangle. To manipulate these shapes, we'll use the selection tool, which is also the S icon here. The selection tool lets you isolate parts of your drawing so that you can move or manipulate or edit it without affecting other parts of your drawing. I like to use the freehand option. Once you've selected the area you would like to edit or manipulate, you can then tap on the transform tool, which is the arrow tool here. You'll see that that shape has now been selected and it's ready to be transformed. With the transform tool, you can move that shape around, you can rotate it, and you can resize it. Next, let's talk about layers. Layers are one of the most powerful tools in Procreate, and they help keep your artwork organized. Make sure to create a new layer for each element or shape so you can edit them independently. This way, if you need to make adjustments to one part of your illustration, it won't affect the other parts. You can also rearrange layers by dragging them up or down, allowing you to change which elements are on top or underneath. Now let's talk about blending modes. These are great for adding highlights, shadows or color effects. You can access these by tapping on the N icon next to your layer. Some common options include Multiply, Overlay and Screen. For example, if you want to add a shadow effect, you can duplicate the layer, fill it with a darker colour or just change the blend mode to Multiply. You can adjust the opacity here to make it look realistic. Blending modes are a fantastic way to add depth and interest to your work. And there you have it. We've covered creating basic shapes, using selection and transform tools, working with layers, and experimenting with blending modes. With these techniques, you can begin building more complex illustrations and compositions in Procreate. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next video in this series. And we'll explore adding color and texture using Procreate's brushes and palettes. Thanks so much for watching, and see you next time.